The Mellef portable battery operated air duster is an alternative to using expensive compressed air cans, a compressor air blower or a mains air duster. I'll see how the Mellef compares to all these other options. Compressed air has limitless uses, from blowing out dust from your keyboard or the inside of your computer, to cleaning stray dust from intricate components like a bike shifter and drying small parts on your bike too. In my workshop I use one all the time to blow away sawdust and metal shavings and to clean the dust filter on my vacuum. Mellef makes a range of gadgets and tools that run off popular battery platforms, namely Milwaukee, DeWalt and Makita. Their tools aren't supplied with batteries, so they only really make sense if you're already on one of these platforms. I'm testing the Milwaukee version, which runs off Milwaukee's 18 volt M18 batteries, and I'll be using one of their 5 amp hour batteries that comes with lots of their tools. The air duster is basically a knockoff of the Makita DAS180Z at around a third of the price. It costs about £40 or $40 and comes with loads of accessories including five nozzles, a flexible hose for reaching awkward areas and an adapter hose that connects around the back for suction. It's pretty well built with a rubberized grip and Mellef branding around the sides. The red plastic doesn't quite match true Milwaukee red but it could easily pass as a Milwaukee tool and the battery clicks positively and securely in place. You install a nozzle by clicking it into place aligning the locking notch. Just twist the nozzle in the direction of the arrow to release it. There's a trigger switch to power it on, but unfortunately and rather unnecessarily there's a side button you need to depress to unlock the trigger. Below this there's a round button that keeps the trigger depressed and the duster running until you press the trigger again. This is handy for inflatables which may take some time to inflate, but does sometimes take a couple of tries to engage. The first thing you notice is just how noisy this thing is. I measured over 100 decibels close to the duster and still 94 decibels one meter away. In this high mode you should really use ear defenders, particularly if you're going to use it for any length of time. There's a power button on the base of the tool that switches from this default high mode to a quieter 87 decibel medium mode and a 77 decibel low mode, all measured one meter away. This button is confusingly labeled as start, but only changes the mode. You can't turn the duster on or off with this button. I'll discuss performance and power usage in these differing modes shortly. An LED lights up to confirm the mode you're in and there's a battery level indicator which I'll discuss further shortly too. There's also an LED light that illuminates when you press the trigger. It's really not very bright but might be useful if you have no other lighting available. Once you get over the noise of this thing it's pretty powerful in high mode. I'll discuss some more quantitative measurements shortly but qualitatively it's not far off my Metro Datavac mains duster. I've had this thing for well over 10 years and it served me well when I had my computer repair business. It takes a few seconds for the brushless motor to get up to speed and it doesn't have anywhere near the potency of an air blower on my compressor, but it still has enough power to be useful. There is a clicking sound as the motor slows down, which I observed on two units, so I don't think it's a fault, but it is a little disconcerting. With a 7mm nozzle, I tried using the air duster to blow out the internals of my desktop video editing and gaming machine. It was easy up to the task. I used the same nozzle to clean my computer keyboard. This nozzle also fits inside the hose to my SUP and in just over a minute got most of the air into it. You'd need to finish off with a supplied hand pump or something like a tyre inflator like this one from Milwaukee or this budget one also from Mellef. The air duster is a high volume low pressure device. It's basically a compact leaf blower. Mellef reckons it's capable of 1.1 meter cube per minute. Their low volume high pressure tyre inflator is rated at 12 litres per minute, which is only 0.012 meter cubes per minute. But it can get up to 160 psi, easily enough to get the SUP to its 15 psi with the right adapter. But it'd be far too slow to fill up the SUP only with a tyre inflator. You can also use a duster to deflate the SUP by removing the back vent and attaching the suction hose. There is a foam filter behind this vent which will need removing and cleaning after use in a dusty environment. You can do this with the duster itself outdoors. The suction mode worked quite well and took around 85 seconds to deflate the SUP. I also use a 30mm nozzle to dry components on my bike and in the workshop to blow away sawdust. The 13mm nozzle probably worked best overall in my testing and it's just about passable as a leaf blower with this nozzle if you're close. It worked very well for all these tasks, although it's still no match for an air compressor and air blower attachment if you need to get to stubborn dirt deep inside something. Then it is entirely portable which makes it very convenient. To visually show how it compares to SIP 100 litre 14.6 CFM compressor, 
canned compressed air, and my electric blower, I use these small digital scales to measure the force of the dusters, directing the jet of air around two centimetres away. I've tried to use a similar size, roughly seven millimetre nozzle for the Mellif, compressor air blower and electric duster. That wasn't possible with the canned air, but I used it without the straw, which resulted in about a three millimetre nozzle. I don't have it anymore, but I also tested this brushless Kanknon portable air duster off Amazon, which has an integrated battery and might be a better option if you're not on any of the major battery platforms. It was pretty good considering its size, but it doesn't produce anywhere near the volume of air the Mellif produces, and you need to be quite close for it to be properly useful. It did still measure around 70 grams on the scales, which isn't at all bad. The Mellif held over 90 grams. The electric duster got around 113 grams. The air blower off the compressor peaked at well over 300 grams and could hold over 260 grams. The canned air works best upright and makes quite a mess. And I couldn't get much over 30 grams, which is not particularly impressive. I could get over 100 grams with a larger 13mm nozzle on the Mellif. Off the compressor, I also tried changing the tyre inflator, which has a wider nozzle, to a more standard air blower with a tight nozzle. You can see just how much power you can get with the compressor. Quick blast got to well over 500 grams and holding well over 400 grams. Nothing gets close to this. I connected the duster to my bench power supply to see exactly how much current it draws in its different modes to estimate the battery life of a 5 amp hour battery. I measured around 14 amps in its 50,000 RPM high mode, 7 amps in its 35,000 RPM medium mode, and 3 amps in its 18,000 RPM low mode. That's around 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 100 minutes in high, medium, and low respectively, which isn't bad. I mainly use it as an air duster in short bursts rather than to fill inflatables, so even 20 minutes in high mode is okay for me. I wanted to also check if the duster cut out when the battery got low. To avoid damaging these batteries, their individual lithium ion cells shouldn't drop much below 3 volts, which for the 5 amp hour pack is around 15 volts combined. I dropped the voltage to below 14 volts and it still didn't shut off, so it seems to rely on the battery's own protection. The duster's battery level LED does drop to 1 bar and starts flashing at around 15 volts, so I'd charge your battery then. Or better still, err on the side of caution and keep an eye on the battery's own battery level indicator. With a fully charged battery at around 21 volts, you'll get over 300 watts of power, which is pretty impressive. This drops down to well below 200 watts as the battery depletes, with noticeably less power. Overall, I've been fairly impressed with the Mellif Air Duster. It is able to pretty much replace my electric Metro Datavac where the cord really gets in the way. It does have a few irritations though, most notably the noise, but also the awkward safety switch, and I would have liked some sort of hard cutoff when the battery gets below a certain level and I will report back in the written article on how it fares over time. The clicking motor is a little concerning. But considering the price and all the accessories you get, it's a pretty good deal if you're already on the Milwaukee, DeWalt or Makita battery system. I tested the blue model for Makita batteries and it worked identically. I'll have links down below to check out the current price. As always, if you have any questions, please ask. I read every comment and will do my best to respond. Also, please let me know if you want to see more of these shorter gadget reviews. I do hope you found this video useful. Please like the video if you did. I'm releasing videos every week on the latest technology and how to get the most out of it. So please make sure you subscribe. And don't forget to tap the bell icon if you want to get notified as soon as a new video gets uploaded. Thanks for watching.